Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use webhooks um, in Roblox, which allow you to send messages from Roblox Discord. But we're, we're going to go ahead and make the webhook. So we're going to go over to whatever channel we want to make the webhook for, or make the messages send. We're going to go to Edit Channel, Integrations, Webhooks, New Webhook. We're going to name this whatever you want. Uh, you can set the icon too if you want, but I'm just going to leave it blank. I'm just going to call it Roblox Logger. Save Changes, Copy Webhook. And close out of this now. So it should be setting webhooks here. Pretty sure, yep, sending them to beta work log. So we're just gonna go ahead and go over to Roblox. Uh, I recommend making your webhooks in a server script, but they'll work on the client too, but you risk your webhook being leaked if exploiters uh, find the file that the webhook is coming from. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go to server script service. We're gonna insert a new script. We're just gonna call it webhook. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna define HTTP search, which is the service that allows us to send these requests. We're gonna do local HTTP service equals game get service HTTP service, and we're also gonna go over to home game settings, security, and make sure allow HTTP request is turned on, and then we're gonna go ahead and press save. Okay, so now that we have HTTP services turned on, we're gonna go ahead and define our webhook. We're gonna do local webhook equals, oops, uh, make sure it's a string, and then you paste the webhook in, and you guys can try to use my webhook but it's not gonna work because I'm gonna delete it right after this video so I just showed the entire thing but we're gonna do HTTP service post async and we're gonna put webhook is the URL we're gonna do comma drop down one line and then we're gonna do um, HTTP service JSON encode and then this is where we're gonna be putting all of our information for the webhook so make sure that you make it a table um, and then we're gonna put whatever we want the message to be so I'm gonna put content equals, and we're gonna put the message, we're gonna be like, hello world, uh, just to test it out. And then we're gonna go ahead and put run. And if we check this channel, as you can see, it printed hello world. So we're gonna go back and click stop. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why this is working, but because Roblox uh, it didn't let Discord webhooks work in the past, but I guess they're working again. Uh, there's this other, um, what's it called, proxy service that you can use. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description in case it doesn't work. All you have to do is replace the, this URL with the, the name of the proxy URL. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show how you can make this even better. So we're just going to go ahead and make it print my username. So we're going to pretend that this is a local script. And we're gonna make it so if okay, so if you wanted to like make it print the player's name, you'd just go like this. You'd go do game.players.local player. But we're on a server script not, right now, so it wouldn't work. But I'm just gonna go ahead and print game.players.notfriendo, which is my username, dot display name. And we're gonna save this, run it. And not friendo is not a valid number of players, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, okay, actually never no, honestly why. Okay, so it literally just removed me from the players folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and press play instead of run. And if we check Discord, if we check Discord, uh, okay, so it still didn't work. Okay, so I, know, I think I know the issue. Uh, we're gonna add wait for child, not friendo. So it waits until I'm actually in the game. Uh, not friendo dot display name. And then we're gonna do control S to save the script. And then press play again. And if you go ahead and check right here, it says friendo in the output. Now let's say you wanted to do the player's username as well. We're gonna go back to our webhook script. We're gonna do uh, dot dot dot. And we're gonna do more colons. And then we're gonna put, or actually they're not even called colons, they're called quotation marks. But we're just gonna add a space, parenthesis at, and then we're gonna do dot dot. Uh, we're actually going to define the player above this. We're going to do local player equals game dot players. Wait for child, not friendo. Then we can replace this with player. And then we're going to do at, and then after the dot dots, we're going to do player dot, or player dot name. And then we're going to do dot dot, and we're going to uh, add a parenthesis here to close it off. Uh, you don't have to add these. I'm just adding it because it'll look better in Discord. But just go ahead and control S, save, press play. We check Discord, it'll show friendo, parentheses, at not friendo. Uh, so I'm going to make another video on how to like add like exploit detection for this that logs it in Discord. But that's all for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.